What up everybody, Wiser One here with Tattoo Pro Stencils and today's tutorial is of the Butterflies and Bugs Design Chief Tattoo Pro Stencils. Uh, I think we're gonna start with the one of the butterflies first. Let's get to it. One of the things with Tattoo Pro Stencils is that normally we go around the entire shape of the design in order to complete, uh, you know, complete the design. Butterflies and bugs is one of the ones where you actually don't. This edge is something you don't want to go past. You want to keep it all inside here. Um, I know that's kind of weird, but uh, in order to get a realistic butterfly design, that's what we had to do. So I'm going to start here in the bottom wing, and you'll notice that, uh, like I said, I'm trying to keep everything inside. I don't want to go past that edge. See the butterfly body here. And we want to make sure to get a heavy black fill in. Uh, in the designs because these designs are, are really dark on a monarch butterfly. Uh, come back over here. And then once you lift it off, it should look like this. If you have any overspray like this around the edges, no big deal. All you gotta do is grab a swab with some rubbing alcohol and wipe them away. No big deal at all. All right, so to complete the butterfly, next you're gonna take your freestyle tool. First thing you're gonna do is line it up like this, and you're gonna spray a very light shadow on that little corner, okay? So that pops out the wing. You can do the same on this side. You don't wanna to go too dark though, because you don't wanna take away from the body of the butterfly. And we'll do that again up here, and we'll do that again here as well. Okay, and we'll do that a little bit right here between the wing. And same there. All right. So next, I'm going to block that off and just spray. And now here's where we get to separate these little sections of wing, okay? And we're basically going to, here, I'll start from the bottom so you guys can see. We're going to line it up with the lines and basically just spray a little bit. Not too much, uh, but this basically just kind of adds that texture and dimension to the wing. Same here. I'm going to go double time all the way up and then I'll do one in the middle here too and move it there and now moving on to this this side we're gonna do the same thing we're just gonna add the little sections and there we go we have a butterfly the only thing we want to do Take a swab with the pointy end and just maybe add a little bit of a uh, highlight to the body there and there. And uh, we can add a couple little dots. I kind of messed it up right there a little bit, but it doesn't look horrible, so I'm just going to leave it. All right, there we go. We have butterfly. So the other butterfly is very similar to this. It's applied the exact same way. Only difference is it's of the half side. Um, I'm not going to run through it, but it's basically the same. You're going to lay it down, spray inside the area. Don't go outside the edge, the outside edge, and you'll end up same thing with the wings. You're going to separate them and add all the little sections, and you'll get a really nice looking butterfly. Uh, next, let's do the ladybug. I'm gonna make a little cluster here. Uh, for the ladybug, this is just like normal. I'm gonna lay it down, and we're gonna spray around the whole shape. This one's a little small, so you gotta use the tips of your fingers. All right, so uh, once it's done, you take it off, and you got the shape. Now, one of the things I like to do is take the leaf from the flower and leaf set and uh, basically just spray a leaf in place right under the ladybug. This just kind of adds a little, uh, a little platform for them to sit on. I'll add another leaf sticking out here just for crumbies. There we go. Uh, now I'm ready to take the freestyle tool. And uh, first thing I'm going to do is uh, throw a little shadow there and I'm uh, going to line this up with the bottom of the body and 
get a little shadow there. Uh, and then I will just use the uh, natural freestyle. Um, and also separate the leaves a little bit. Alright, next. trusty swab here and we'll add highlights and make sure the legs can poke out there and we'll add a little highlights to the leaf and boom awesome ladybug all right next is going to be the scarab okay and what we're going to do is Actually, let's actually move it up here a little bit. We're right there. Lay our scarab down. And put it on the edges and in the designs in the middle. All the way around. And we got the body. Now the legs, there's one set of legs for both sides. We're basically gonna position these like so just inside the edge of the body and bam flip it around the other way same positioning and bam super easy it's really fun to take uh, wings and add wings to it like the Egyptian stuff it's pretty awesome taking our freestyle tool Line it up there. Uh, we're also going to help that out a little bit and uh, add a little shadow there. There needs to be a little bit of a split there. Other than that, we'll just naturally shadow it. Same with the legs. I'm going to mist over them so I can highlight them really good. Taking my swab on the skinny end. Going to add some highlights to the shell here on the top here and there, there as well. Reload, and here's where I can start kind of adding highlights to the legs. Uh, another thing I like to do around these designs that are just by themselves as I can take the swab here and I can kind of use it to create designs kind of swooping out and so, some of the ink will actually drag out and, and create a design itself these are just fun to add in just add like a little bit of extra design flavor just need a little bit more of a highlight there Boom. Awesome scarab. Last but not least, we have the Death's Head Moth. I'm going to switch you back this way, G. Right there. This one, uh, you'll notice these big open areas. Those you don't want to fill in solid. You want to kind of just fill in around the edges. So what I'll do is I'll hold it like this, and I'll start with the skull in the middle and the antenna and around the body and around this part of the wings then I'll go up and down and just basically like not fill in that area but make sure the edges get hit when I'm going around it same on this side this way okay. switch this up edge here all right, so that's what we're going to end up with on the Death Head Maw. Um, so when I get my freestyle tool, the first thing I'm going to do is mask that edge off. And same on this side, and just pop out that skull. Should have missed a little edge there. Uh, same here. I'm going to line up this and actually just put the wings on top of the back of the body there, just to add a little effect. 
And here I will add a little shadow under the head. For the wings, what we're going to do is find the straightest, longest part of this. And we're going to line it up. And we're going to do some lines across the entire wing. And remembering it's a fan shape, you want to make sure to keep that fan shape going. And so you get this, this kind of patternized wing. We're going to go ahead and do that to the other side now. And then uh, last but not least, I will use this to add some dimension to the butt. And then you can kind of, I like to add like smoky swirls coming up around this guy just for effect. It's pretty fun. And there you go. Only thing you need now, some highlights. We'll take our swab and we'll just put some highlights there and there. Kind of repop those wings out. Just gonna add a couple little streaks in here. Right here. And there you go. All right, and there's all of our designs from the Bugs and Butterflies Tattoo Pro Stencil Set. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them in the section below. And uh, make sure to subscribe. Got way more awesome tutorials to check out. And uh, most importantly, make sure you're having fun with your airbrushes. We'll see you next time.